Hello everyone, this is uh, Saf. Uh, I am going to use this Chrome extension uh, on a WhatsApp and uh, let you know how you can do a bulk messaging using this Chrome extension. Uh, for using this uh, extension, you have to Google WAWCD and if you see this link, uh, the first link. So uh, install for free and uh, between you can see the pricing uh, if you go to this page pricing it has a free version this is a chrome extension that, that i already installed it looks like this like you can turn it on and off like this is your actual uh, whatsapp you can turn it if you want to use any feature like bulk messaging phone and all, tons of feature that you can explore you just have to turn it on like this or off uh, but yeah, if it has uh, some features, uh, if I go to the pri monthly plan, so it has like uh, this. This is a free version, like where you can do the privacy feature. It has a start new chat, copy messages, and you can create two templates. Uh, they allow only text only, and you can do unlimited broadcasting. Like, uh, like you can send like millions of um, uh, uh, like messages, uh, but unlimited, but only with the branding and the bad thing also is like you can only send the text message not the image or video so you can do this with a quick audience and it has li this link chat link generator uh, and in 7.9 dollar it has these features in pro there's a different plans you can explore but definitely but uh, today i'm going to explain like how you can do a bulk messaging using this tool so this is the tool if you want to do a bulk messages let's say if you have to create the template first let's rename it to first message let's say so if i say like a uh, hi let's say if i also want to insert their names let me say the first name um do you mm, yeah do you use whatsapp um, for your business let's say uh, when i try to enter the question mark they just appear i have to enter the question mark maybe i have to copy and paste Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to correct the spelling. I want to use this ChatGPT feature. It says rephrase. Let's say. Uh, okay, use this. Hi, first name. Do you use WhatsApp for your business? So see, it just rephrase the chat. This is like AI assistant. Like you can rephrase or grammar check. It's like its own feature. So this is the template. Uh, what's the, let's say if I have to bold this and also italic. Okay, save template. Okay, there's other options like you can create the template with the media uh, by uploading the images, uploading the videos. Uh, you can attach uh, PDF uh, documents, anything like you can. Uh, you can record the audio or you can upload the audio and the poll you can create the poll let's say if uh, okay there's i am creating this like uh, do you use whatsapp for your business i can also do this like do you use whatsapp for your business and yes and no two option and save template and broadcast so there's another option if you want to send the uh, like if you want to send uh, someone your contact card or someone else contact card you want to broadcast your contact card to different like thousand of people then definite just click uh, I don't know who is this guy just save template and it's going to broadcast uh, this uh, just like just like this, this uh, let me show you actually <coughs> in the WhatsApp there's option with the contact where you can attach the contact see so it works same way this thing is work same way the contact so nothing fancy so I already c uh, okay the audience you can create the audience okay uh like audience like if you want to retarget your this is all the chats you have if you want to say okay so you want to just send any message to all your chats okay see all contacts and all the chats are here you said okay only send to saved number like 
did saved number means like number saved in your contact list or if you want to send to those chats which which are not saved in your contact list so this is the list and if you want to exclude anything you can just simply exclude and save it but today i'm not going to do this uh, group groups mean like if you want let's say if wwc the customer issues if there's a, these kind of these people in that group if you want to send message not in the group but to the individual members of that group so you can choose the group option here you can choose a different multiple groups and it's keep adding into the same list yeah the label if if you are on a whatsapp business right now i am not on a whatsapp business if you are on a whatsapp business do, do definitely see the list of the labels if uh, then you choose if if so you have a customer like paid customers you can just label them as a paid and then click only paid and you can create the audience with the labeled uh, list i am going to use this one oh, okay one other option no there's no other option okay uh, csv file i created this test audience let's say i rename it to test audience okay actually my spelling are bad okay i said next okay so i don't have the names of these people but the email so i will say this is like first name it is no first name but i am just keeping it like a first name so this is the phone number i said save i, I hope uh, my sound is clear uh, i hope okay so this is so these are the numbers i save i said save audience so these are 20 numbers so save audience if you want to end select anything let's like say if you want to say if someone name is like allen you can just remove it let's say let's see Oops, it's just, oh, it just selected one audience only. This is bad. Let me go again. Upload the CSV. Next. Mm -mm -mm. First name, phone number, save. And save audience. Okay, uh, so this is... Uh, the audience and uh, if you go on a broadcast okay the see the first message this one let's say audience the test audience i will not send to 20 i will just show you how it work 5 to 10 seconds and uh, like yeah the more delay is better i but uh, as i am in the making the video so i will keep the delay is simple like 5 or 10 and even this is, uh, I think you should, uh, okay, uh, if you are doing, going to do a broadcasting and there's like the high chances uh, if you are sending it to like uh, new numbers, like it's not in your chat, so it's a high chances of you getting blocked. So for that, let me show you one other thing. Let me rename it to first message to let's say name and copy paste this thing here and say like hi first name do you use WhatsApp or anything uh, let me see how it how we refresh it I want to refresh it to hello it says no, now it says hello first name do you utilize WhatsApp for your business operations before it was okay so this is so these are the two messages oh my god where it goes this is very bad anyhow copy and paste Uh, I don't I want to refresh again I want to refresh it again I want to see it, it different like very different huh? okay anyhow I'm going to use this save template so going to come back audience again let's say it says new template for it. that was the template I created yeah new template 14 so this is this name let me just do it fast like um, uh, first message and uh, first message 14 and then test audience the time is like if you want to schedule in the future let's say if you want to send it like uh, 
somewhere here then you can just select the uh, the date the future date error updating broadcasting okay my bad and uh, there's other option enhancement you can explore but right now i want to save it and yeah definitely okay uh, i forgot to mention like uh, i forget to mention like i created two templates so it doesn't mean the uh, one one guy is going to get both templates one guy is going to sometime it's going to get the template one and the other guy is like uh, template two or like random it is very random um, so so it, it every time the, the template is different like the content of your uh, message is different so it is also prevent you getting blocked uh, if you create multiple audience and use the multi one audience like 100 uh, for uh, like 12 46 a.m. and the other 100 is like 1 a.m. and the other 100 like 2 a.m. and something like that like you schedule one w after one hour gap each of the audience that if you want to send like one thousand broadcast to 1000 numbers and you have to like schedule it in in chunks very small small parts so this is feature is for that and for the maximum time from uh, I recommend like more is better like 30 to 40 seconds and then click broadcast and yes okay so this is uh, this so it's starts sending the message like if one message sent and you're saying broadcast is currently in progress you will be able to start a new one as soon as possible so if I able to see the broadcasting report no yeah maybe after finishing are you able to see this report so three messages sent so let me see if the message are going in yeah see so this message has been uh, sent like hi uh, I don't have like uh, their name so I'm sending this email do you use WhatsApp for your business so there's another one there's another one so so this one okay this one get like hi hello and this one get hi so this one get uh, again high and this one so I, I told you like this is a random like different uh, like when you are broadcasting so more create more template if you want to send a one promotional message 70% off let's say just create in a different way like one two three four five six seven eight like templates and select those templates and then broadcast so every time the random template will be, uh, will be sent to the, uh, the your the recipient, recipient. So I'm going to send 10 only. So I'm going to stop it. See how it works. Okay, so this is the message we are sending. So uh, I also integrated the WCD AA system with it. So when I send this message, so I, I automatically receive this message and uh, ChatGPT send this message. So it's in different language. I think it's in I don't know Spanish maybe. So it just send this font in Spanish. Anyhow, this is the different use case. So let me show you the report. So this one says successful. This one says successful, successful. So it says eight success, ten pending, two failed. Oh, two failed also. So so these two get failed. I don't know why maybe number is wrong or something like that. So it is failed. So I can download the failed list separately and pending list separately. So and, and if you want to like I want to resume my broadcasting so I just click broadcast now again. So it starts sending to the 12, uh, 10 pending, 2 failed, uh, total 12. It starts sending again to those 12. So see, so this is, so you, uh, let's say if you have put the 500 numbers and uh, something happened, you refresh the page or you something break, internet uh, break, something like that. So you can just always come here and rerun this broadcast. So this is how it works. So I'm going to stop it again. So the report is updated, I think. Time pending to fail, still fail. Let me click the tab maybe. No, now it is updated. Seven pending, two fail. See, three more sent. So I'm getting someone is just going, going to respond me. So anyhow, so this is how it works. So so you must try this extension and uh, yeah it is uh, pretty fast and uh, the more reports are coming uh, like if who, who uh, like your message get delivered uh, it is get seen or or someone respond to those messages like 
all the reports are coming in and if you want to rerun like let's say if you run send the one message to this broadcast if you want to rerun the same broadcast again so there's an op other option is going to come here like so you able to uh, send the second uh, reminder maybe if you send like okay uh, 10 customer make this payment and they didn't respond to your query and you said okay all send this message again to these 10 so as a reminder or something like that so you can do this with this chrome extension so this is the one of the feature if you go to the pricing list again if you see there it has like um, this feature like broadcasting so i explain the one feature from this list which is like <coughs> um, broadcasting i didn't explain this one i didn't explain the group oh wait it goes uh, I didn't explain this one. I explained the broadcasting with audience. Yes, I explained the schedule. I explained the personalized broadcasting. So the, the first name when I put the first name, so it is called the personalized broadcasting. And I showed you like reports and the enhancements. Uh, that archive chat is enhancements, and they are adding more enhancement in, into this Chrome extension. So other thing is like WhatsApp group is want to send the message within the WhatsApp group. So if you create a new broadcasting, you see this broadcast group. So you can select the group one, two, three, and want to send the message within the groups. You can do that with this broadcasting this feature. So I think hope my voice is clear. It used to be uh, I'm not using any mic, so it's just a laptop uh, mic. So hope the voice is clear. So, so this is it uh, about this is advanced level of broadcasting messages uh, to your audience.